Hello, doctors. So we will continue with the top 50 FMG question for 2023. So we today we will try to cover immunology and virology questions which are frequently asked and also revise as much as possible. Only important things, only important questions which you can expect in your FMG exams. Okay, so let's start now. The first question, the first question here is, second, yeah, yeah. So this is the first question. So look here, what is the question given here? It says antibodies, antibodies, just a second, yeah. It says antibodies producing opsonization and activating the classical complement pathway. Okay, this is the question. So now we are going to discuss about this. Okay, if for optimization also and activating the classical complement pathway. So before going to that, what we'll do, we will uh, revise all the immunoglobulins. That is the best thing we can do, right? That would be most important thing. You always, you can expect questions from the antibody or immunoglobulin. They're same. Okay, yes, let's start. So what happened now? Let's do like this. So now, you know, uh, what are the immunoglobulins we have? Usually, we have, we have, see, when you talk about uh, antibody or immunoglobulin. They are same. Antibody or immunoglobulin, both are same. Immunoglobulin or same. Okay. Now, who is producing this? You know this very well. Who is producing B cells? B cells, when converted into plasma cells, B cells, B cells, okay, B cells, they are converted into plasma cells. Yeah, plasma cells. You had a question also. If you remember, immunoglobulin is produced. And plasma cells is the one that is producing your immunoglobulins. Right? Immunoglobulin. Now, what are the types of immunoglobulin? Immunoglobulin, uh, before going to immunoglobulin, a little bit about the shape of immunoglobulin. Yeah, if you remember, remember the immunoglobulin. I will write it here. The, I write the shape here. It's better, right? Yeah. So immunoglobulin, if you take an immunoglobulin, how does it look? You have what? Long chain. You have a long chain. That is the heavy chain you call. And then you have a light chain, right? Light chain. Okay, this is the heavy chain. And this is the light chain. And then there are two places, you know. There is one top here that's called fab, fab component, fab, okay, fab. This is the site where antigen is binding, antigen binding site, okay, that is the antigen binding site. How you remember? Remember fab is top, fabulous people are at the top, okay, say you are the be very easy, you will not forget, okay. Fab means antigen binding site, that is where, you know, your epitope and paratope, you know, fuses, right. That is uh, that is another part. Okay, FB is the antigen binding site. Remember that. And we have another site down here. This is called what? This is called the C site where what we guys see we call F C fragment or F C site where all cell binding cell binding will happen here. Complement binding happens here. All the C C C things will happen here. That's important. Okay, complement binding. So these things are. Two important things when you know about the shape of it, FB is important. And of course, heavy chain, heavy chain only, with the classification of immunoglobulins are based on heavy chain only. If you remember, what are the immunoglobulins we have? We have, shortcut is GAME, right? G-A-M-E-D, GAME. So, alpha chains based on the, the example, based on the gamma, if it is a gamma, heavy chain, if it is gamma, then it is G. Alpha, then it is A. If it is mu, it is M. If it is epsilon, then it is E. Okay, epsilon is like epsilon. Okay, and if it is delta, then it is D. Based on that only, we are classifying it. Okay, this is just a brief, a brief that you know how does the uh, immunoglobulin looks. Now we are going to the main part. Now let's go to the main part. Okay, here the question is Hep C fragment. They might ask you so that would anything with C C comes Hep C fragment. Okay, uh, FAB is antigen binding part. This one you remember. That's enough. Okay, and now let's go to the thing. Now. One second. Yeah. Now, you know, what are the immunoglobulins? We are going to classify all the immunoglobulins now. We have immunoglobulins, what we said, we have Ig, G, and then we have Ig, Ig, A, we'll go in order, yeah? Game, shortcut is D, A, M, and Ig, E, and then Ig, last one is D, right? Let's scale there. G A M E D. Okay, so this is the thing. Now, each thing you must know because definitely you will have a question. You will have a question for sure. Okay, now how to remember, sir? Very, you must already, you must be knowing, but again, I'm saying for students who have difficulty in knowing. So please listen here. G, how to remember? G, you remember as God. Remember God, God, you know, God, Bhagwan. Okay, G is God. This is the way you're going to remember. M, you're going to remember as multimillionaire. Okay, millionaire. It's not multi-millionaire. Remember us. It's also called as millionaire antibody. Millionaire. M for millionaire. Okay. M for E. And E is enemy. 
यू नो एनिमीज यूजली किसको हम एनिमी बोलते हैं द डेविल को डेविल और सैटन का वी कैलोट एस एनिमी ओके दैट्स इट दिस अ क्लू फॉर यू ओके नाउ रिमेंबर जी व्हाट आर द थिंग्स मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्शन भगवान तो मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्शन है सो इट इज मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्शन मैक्सिमम प्रोडक्शन डेली प्रोडक्शन डेली प्रोडक्शन एवरीथिंग इज हाई फॉर योर गॉड God ka God is maximum. He is the one producing everything in the world, right? So maximum production, daily production, and of course God is God never die, right? He is like always there. So maximum half life, half life. Okay, that is half life. I I write it half life. Okay, half life, half life maximum for your G. Okay. Apart from that, anything we should remember here? Yes, your uh any. क्रोनिक रिएक्शन ऐसे याद करो कोई भी क्रोनिक इन्फेक्शन आता है टीबी वॉट एवर एनी क्रोनिक क्रोनिक इन्फेक्शन आता है हेपेटाइटिस एक्सेट्रा कौन हेल्प करता है Your Bhagwan, God will help you. Okay, so that's also question. Got it? Everything is a question. Maximum production, daily production, half life, chronic infection, which in immunoglobulin, immunoglobulin G. Apart from that, what are important? It helps in opsonization. Opsonization. A lot of reaction comes in opsonization, and also for your uh, classic complement pathway. If you remember, complement pathway, we have two. Classic complement pathway. It helps. So Bhagwan is classically complement. You give classic complement to Bhagwan. Okay, opsonization, classic complement. Apart from that, neutralization. Ah, one more thing. Bhagwan is the one who gives the children. So mother to child, G. Mother to child. The immunity that crosses from mother to child or the newborn ka child ka protection is because of. God, G. Okay, you got it. Very, very simple. Very easy. It's not easy. You don't know, need pneumonia. You don't need anything. You don't need anything. You don't need anything. G means G is God. So God means God is maximum production of everything, and He is the daily production also maximum. Half life is maximum, and He helps people who are having chronic infection like TB, hepatitis. Only God can help. Doctors can't help, right? Yeah. And then opsonization. Classic compliment. Who gives a classic compliment? God needs a classic compliment, right? He is great, so we give classic compliment to him. And mother to child, only God can give. Only God can give the children. Only God can give immunity to the children. You got it? Okay. Simple. G you will not forget. Definite question from here. So you have to remember at least option uh, optionization, classic compliment, chronic infection. These things. Half life definitely will have. I will be important. Okay. Now because we talk about G, let's talk about devil. Opposite. No God. Co opposite devil. Has, so enemy. So enemy is what? least production okay least production least production less production i'll write better i'll write least okay least production least half life everything is least because ye devil hai devil ka to itna nahi hona opposite to god hona chahiye so everything is least least production least half life t of na half life half life already t of that's half life okay half life you will understand half life everything is half of plus one more important thing what devil kya karta hai devil will burn in the fire devil will burn in the fire so it is heat labile remember this question was asked this question was asked in some of the exam so please don't forget heat labile okay because devil devil will die in the fire if you remember as a devil na in the fire it will be killed right it will be killed that's what okay this for the story this all are important questions okay but apart from that there are two important things that you have to remember what are they they are helping in what immunoglobulin e one is in the any allergic reaction allergic reaction any allergic reaction and also parasite infection parasite infection is important question they'll ask you parasite infection which immunoglobulin rises ige IgE, okay, allergic, allergic, and any parasite infection, okay, E, E, and also if you remember, allergic is simply eosinophilia. Also, we have eosinophilia. This is totally different thing, but because it's also E, E, eosinophilia, so I'm bringing it here. E, E has same allergic or parasite eosinophilia is increased, and E is uh, immunoglobulin so E is increased. Okay, remember that. And least <coughs> E if our enemy, so E is devil, so everything heat level least this over here. Got it? So no confusion in that. Now let's go to M. M very important. See, millionaire, millionaire ka. If you give five rupees to the millionaire, they will make it ten rupees. Okay. I mean to say that it is pentamer. It is pentamer. Usually everything is. Ah, uh, if you see all are monomers. All are monomer means see they are like this. You know everything is like this. This this is also like this. This is also like this. Right. But M is if you remember the shape, it is pentamer. It has like this. If you remember, it's like a beautiful rangoli. Na, it's like a beautiful rangoli. Right like this, 
Yeah. Okay. Like this. So five pentamer. Pentamer. So ten is the valency. So they can ask because a milliner hoga. So milliner. When you milliner, anyone you can take. Uh, you can take uh, Ambani if you want. Mukesh Ambani, whoever you give five rupees, they make valency. One thing. Number two. What is that? Any acute infection. Any acute infection. Kisi ko acute infection hai. They need money. So who can help? Only milliners can help. Chronic infection hoga to. CG. See, C is looking like a G if you forgot also. That was one clue. Otherwise, remember, God will help chronic people. Acute infection, ka koi bhi acute problem hota hai. who can help? Only a millionaire can. M for millionaire. Millionaire will help. Okay, don't forget that. And, of course, what is another important thing? This has the maximum molecular weight. Maximum molecular weight. Even if you remember, forgot also, M for M. Otherwise, also, rich people. Rich people are always having heavy weight. Right? Heavy weight. So, they are maximum weight. You see all the rich people, they are fatty, fatty, you know, maximum weight. Okay, maximum weight. And one more thing is sedimentation. You know, they sediment money, money, ko, money, ko barke, 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 ne, dam, what they sediment money together and they store it, millionaires, right? So money, remember for shortcut, I'm writing money. Sedimentation is high, high, high. So increase sediment, maximum molecular weight, acute infection, you will get a millionaire. Million. And it is pentamer with valency 10 also important. 5 rupees, they will make it 10 rupees in 2 minutes. Okay, like that. Just for a clue, okay, you remember anything related with the money. Apart from that, apart from that, what are the two important things you should know here? It helps in what? It helps in the opsonization. It helps in opsonization, opsonization, and also classic complement. Classic complement. It means classic complement. So the only future which is similar to complement, okay. Only future that is similar to your IgG and IgM is these two. Opsonization and classical complement pathway. Complement, Bhagavan ko bhi chahiye ba complement. Millionaire also like complement. That's what they do all the, you know, show off things, right? Okay. So, opsonization and classical complement is common for both. If you remember, this question was the one of the question asked. Okay. You know, now you, I'm sure you will not forget it. Okay. Very easy. A for what? A is one important thing a for apple a for alternate alternate complement pathway okay alternate complement pathway in your complement pathway in your complement pathway you know that in alternate in complement pathway classic alternate and we have one mannose binding calcitin pathways there but the two important is these two so a for alternate pathway so alternate pathway is a for a and your classic is your bhagwan god and millionaire m yeah. okay remember that alternate. and one more thing a is usually present in any secretion this question also can be asked which immunoglobulin is high in your secretion means your tears saliva any mucosal secretion any secretion breast milk everywhere mucosa breast milk any secretion breast milk everywhere Ig A is high. That's the question. Okay. Tears everywhere. Wherever you see uh, any secretion, Ig A is high. Okay. That's it. So remember that. Okay. So these are the important things. What about D? D is important. D ka kuch nahi karna hai. Just remember. Mom. I'm sorry. Yeah. How to remember this? For uh, Ig D. D ka aise yad karo. Dad. And mom. Everyone's dad and mom are best. Why did I say that? Because, because D and M immunoglobulin, IgD and IgM immunoglobulin, they are where on the B cell surface, B cell surface receptor, okay? B cell surface, they, they have the receptor on B cell, that's it. B cell surface receptor, they have important role. Which one? Your dad and mom. That is immunoglobulin D and immunoglobulin M. Finished. Got it? This is the most, most, most important thing you should know. Uh, one second. Yeah, okay. Got it? So, uh, B surface. So, the uh, mom and dad is the best and it is coming DND. That's it, okay? Now you'll answer this question. Now you'll answer the question. One second. One second. Why it's not coming? I'm sorry. Yeah. So, now read this question. Okay. So, one second. I'm sorry. This is not moving. I'm just getting it. Okay. Yeah. Now look at this question. Now you'll answer me. So we already discussed a lot. Now you guys are going to tell me. Yeah. Tell me what happened. Yeah. Okay. So now tell this. So antibody that is helping in opsonization and activating the classical complement pathway. So, kon kon hai? 
क्लासिक कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज किस किस का कॉम्प्लीमेंट चाहिए एक गॉड का चाहिए जी एक मिलीनर्स को चाहिए सो जी एन एम ओके हु नीड्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट योर जी एन एम दैट एन ऑप्शनाइजेशन आल्सो बोथ आर इन्वॉल्व सो ऑप्शनाइजेशन एक्टिविटी कॉम्प्लीमेंट पार्ट इज बोथ जी एन एम ओके गॉट इट दिस मच दिस मच ओनली यू शुड नो ओके एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट का वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड यू नो इट्स वी हैव अल्टरनेट क्लासिक अल्टरनेट पाथवे मींस आईजी फॉर अल्टरनेट पाथवे आईजी जी विल हेल्प आईजी ए विल हेल्प ए फॉर ए ए फॉर अल्टरनेट पाथवे क्लासिकल कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्लासिक कॉम्प्लीमेंट पाथवे इज योर गॉड एंड मिलीनर ओके आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट यू विल फिक्स इन योर माइंड ओके दैट्स ऑल सो वी फिनिश दिस क्वेश्चन सो इट्स इजी जी एन एम गॉड एंड मिलीनर ओके ओके नेक्स्ट now look at this question now you should know something before uh, here see the question is like this yeah questions match the following they have given you have to find autograph genographed allograft isographica matching and then you have to tell okay so before going to this and they have given the clue see uh, these are the things so before going to the question let's revise and then come back that will be more easier okay so what is this picture sir kya auto kyu lagaya hai na okay you have a clue there i i'm going to tell that now you 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 will enjoy this so first of all autocraft 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 what are the graph here autocraft and here allograft allograft it looks funny you will understand why and then of course we have isograft and your xenograft xenograft okay xenograft that's it okay now autograft means when you're doing grafting is usually done for what any problem in body a graft can be a skin graft a kidney heart lung anything anything you can transplant in your body bone whatever okay now autograft means from the own body from the own body you're doing a transplant okay from your own body you take a graft what happen example i'll give you a small example example a uh, patient got a burn burn injury and uska skin either uh, chala gaya so in part of his hand some skin has gone so what happen you you have to take a graft from where usually they take graft from your your thigh muscles thigh is thigh, uh, from your thigh skin or whatever they wanted okay they choose the particular part thigh or legs they take that means from own body you're taking graft and you're doing that is own body so okay, why did i put this a yeah, auto owner this is auto owner owner the word owner agya to see this is easy you not forget but exam mein you will confuse auto or auto exam in the stress you usually think like that that's what i don't want you to stress and go with so many you know this crazy thing that you will not forget auto owner owner is the word owner own body owner means own body se graft karte ho that is called autograft okay first one allograft what is allograft allograft is i'm just coming to maine kyu allo dal diya allo is the allo is allo is what allo is the most common vegetable everybody uses allo right allo is common allo is the common one so which is the most common graft we have here allo okay allo is the most common allo is potato yeah in hindi it's potato i for uh, south indian uh, students who don't know allo is potato so allo is common one which is the most common graft where you see allo graft okay first one number 2 allo graft means allo means from another person from another person another person not necessarily twins not necessarily identical another person so you're just taking on your putting graft so this is the most common graft okay it's bone marrow whatever usually that's what we are transplanting you know we are doing graft from another person taking this is the most common graft remember okay this is important own own body ho gaya autograft but that's not most common one allo is allo is the most common one. allo sare jagah hai so common one okay another person isograft there's a clue i for identical twins identical twins identical twins okay identical twins do twins if they are identical ek twin se dusra ka dal dete hain that is the uh identical twins we call okay so that's one uh, don't for identical to i for i identical twins are doing the graft xenograft means remember as x man okay x man x man x man to dusra species hai he is not human so when you do any graft from another species it could be an animal plant whatever okay plant not definitely animals any other species apart from human other species ho gaya xeno x for x was x man x man is another species ho gaya got it very simple itna hi graft ki unit revision ye enough hai. auto auto owner allo allo is the most common one i iso iso is identical twins and xeno x is x men x men is another species now you are going to answer this question see how easy it's going to be you don't even have to touch your book autograft autography which one you are going to choose auto mene abhi bola tha auto is the owner owner so owner means usually skin graft all the skin graft the own skin graft that's what we are saying skin graft usually auto means own so your own skin graft or whatever you doing that is the autograft okay got it okay zeno zeno is let me just go with this yeah 
pen. Ah, so auto graft to skin, your own body self, skin graft, whatever you're doing. Okay, any graft, usually it's skin graft. Xeno, Xeno medical X Men is usually another species. So, yahan par species kuch hai? Yeah, see, you got it. So, Xeno ka same answer, transfer between different species. Ho gaya? Transfer between different species. Xeno, X Men, ho gaya. Alu, Alu, Alu is the most common. Agia, Hapka. Alu is the most common vegetable all over the world. So, most common. Okay, most transplant Alu. Iso, I for identical twins. Identical or monozygotic? They same, same. Don't confuse. Monozygotic, identical, matlab, same, same. Hi hai. So, twins are again. So, at least twins, yaad kar lo. Okay, twins. I identical twins. Okay. So, isograft is the monozygotic twins. Okay. So, where we are fitting uh, one A for uh, four and B is two, two and C is one. So, your answer is A and D is iso. Most uh, iso is monozygotic three. Okay. Got it. Simple. Got it right? Auto, auto driver, auto owner. Uh, Alu Kalu is most common one. X is X Men is another species. I for ISO means identical twins. This is the easiest and shortest way. You know it revision. This is the way you're going to revise before your exams, few days before exam. You're going to do great. Okay. Yes. Next. Next. Now look at this question. This also now I already explained. Now you're going to answer this question. A patient with a rot RTA he had and he underwent a grafting. Okay. Using his own ah, yeah that's what i'm giving clue own means owner you are your own owner okay owner to show owner kiska owner hai? owner is owner of the auto you don't even read the question okay see that job picture ka bizarre with me i'm showing the own tissue shown in the image Matlab, skin graft hua hai. this is the skin graft he has done probably uh from the thigh they have taken and they have put it here he must have had got some uh rta means you know the skin must have uh abraced removed away you know peeled off so he they put a graft so his own tissue own tissue Matlab, the answer is auto graft Got it? That's it. This is the answer. Very simple and easy. That's what I want you to do very well in the exam. So this time you can get anything. They can give you more, most uh, type of, uh, you know, uh, graft was taken from another individual, another man. Then it is allograft. Then if they say identical twins or monotheic twins, isograft. Xeno from another species, between two different species, Xeno. Finished. Okay, that's it. Now next. Next question we are going. Look at this question. Uh, so here, a 50-year-old female, he, she is presented to hospital with a difficulty in swallowing. She has difficulty in swallowing. Generalized weakness. Okay. On throat examination, no any. On throat examination, they saw that there was no any, no any pharyngeal exudate or hyperemia. That means no infection. So yeah, I get to this is clue that there is no any infection seen. Yeah, if this infection only there be redness, there should be exudate. No example, uh, pharyngeal exudate means what you think. You should think about streptococcus pharyngitis or your diphtheria, coronavirus diphtheria, that's out. So she also had an episode of diplopia. This is important, diplopia and examination ptosis was seen. So what I'm looking here is that, and she feels better with the rest. When she rests, she feels good. Okay, so when she's taking rest, she feels good. So what is the hypersensitive reaction? Okay, now let's stop here. This condition looks difficult in swallowing weakness. Everything looks something related with the muscle, something related with the muscle problem only. Okay. Muscle problem. Let's stop here. Okay. Muscle problem. Now, before going to the uh, muscle problem, uh, so something related to muscle problem and important clue is she feels better with the rest. With the rest, she's feeling better. That means what? Which is that disease that uh, when, uh, see, when, when they keep on doing, you know, activity, it becomes worse. Okay. It becomes worse. But when they take rest, it becomes better. That disease is basically your myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis. Okay, myasthenia gravis. It's co opposite term. Lambert Eaton. Lambert Eaton, may you do more activity, you feel better. In Lambert Eaton, you feel more activity, it's better. But here, uh, when you uh, when you're doing more activity, it gets worse. So what happens? You just take rest, you'll be fine. The patient gets fine. So that disease myasthenia gravis. Now we have to identify which hypersensitivity reaction. For identifying which hypersensitivity reaction, now we have to start our hypersensitivity and then we'll come back to the question, okay? The disease you are di diagnosed is gravis, okay? But which hypersensitivity reaction? That is your question. So scale we have a shortcut. Now we're going to go to that, okay? Let's start now. Yeah. So what are the hypersensitivity reactions you know? What are the hypersensitivity reactions you know? We're going to write that. So you know this type 1. Type 1, yeah, type 1. I'm going to write like this, it'd be easier. Type 1, type 2, hypersensitivity reaction. Type 1, hypersensitivity. Type 2, hypersensitivity. And then type 3. Type 3, hypersensitivity reaction. And then type 4, I'm going to write it down. Okay. I don't need, I don't need so much space for type 4. Type 4, hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. Got it? Now, yeah. In this reaction, the only one which is delayed uh, before going to delay, 
let's just shortcut to remember the other name. Other name ka kaise yaad karogi? A C I D. Acid. Okay, acid. Acid. A for any anaphylactic. Anaphylactic reaction. Anaphylactic or allergic reaction. Any anaphylactic reaction. Okay, allergic or anaphylactic reaction. This is the immediate hypersensitive reaction. It means the reaction happens within minutes. You know, the allergy, the hypersensitive reaction happens within minutes. It's very rapid, immediate hypersensitivity. And this type 2 and type 3 also, it takes hours. Okay, it usually takes hours. It takes hours. This is also type of immediate only. They are not delayed. It's also type of immediate. But more immediate is your first type. One is the immediate. takes within the minute. C for cytotoxic. Cytotoxic hypersensitive. Cytotoxic cytotoxic hypersensitive reaction. Hypersensitive reaction. Cytotoxic. Okay. Cytotoxic means anything against the cell. I'll come there. I for, I for immune complex mediated. Immune complex mediated. Immune complex mediated hypersensitivity. Immune complex mediated hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. D for delayed. D for delayed. You know that's one. Okay. Delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Delayed means it takes, uh, it takes what weeks and months it takes. Okay. It takes so many days, not immediately. So this is the first one. Acid. Remember shortcut for is acid. Yeah, definitely you have to remember. This is the way you're going to remember also. Okay. Now next. Now other shortcuts. Okay. This is fine. Uh, we, we understood. Now sir. Examples are important because they are going to an exam. They're going to, you know, very well. You've seen a lot of questions. They'll give you the disease and they'll tell you to identify the thing. Now, first, because it's an anaphylactic reaction, you know, any allergic or anaphylactic reaction, which one it is mediated by immunoglobulin E, number one. This remember immunoglobulin E. But type 2 or type 3 is usually immunoglobulin G. It is mediated by immunoglobulin G. Okay. Immunoglobulin G. G. God. God is doing all the type 3 and type 2 and type 3. And this one, A for any, you know, any allergic reaction, E will go ahead. That's what. And D is cell mediated. Now it's a cell mediated. So that's what it's delayed. Cell, it's not antibody mediated. It is cell mediated. That is what this is also a question. Cell mediated means remember this. Okay. Got it? So that's one question. Now, what are the diseases? This is very, if you, because it's an allergic reaction, koi be example, bronchial asthma. You know, bronchial asthma, asthma, A for A, asthma, allergic rhinitis, allergic rhinitis, you know, allergic rhinitis. Or atopic rhinitis, we can say everything is same. Atopic, anaphylactic, everything is same. Okay, anaphylactic, atopic, or allergic, allergic, atopic dermatitis, allergic dermatitis, atopic dermatitis, atopic rhinitis. They are same, same, same meaning. Don't confuse. Okay. Apart from that, the important thing is what in any in any uh, not only these things. There are two important. Just one important test you should know. What is the Cassoni's test? Kesoni test, again, I'm repeating again and again. It is for your hydrated cyst. It's for your hydrated cyst, right? Hydrated. Hydrated, you know, echinococcus is clearly hydrated. Hydrated. I've you repeated it many times before, so you're not going to make a mistake. Important. All are important here. Anaphylactic of dermatitis. And I put two reactions we call PK reaction and ESD reaction. PK is, PK is, I'm not going to write the full name. You remember PK? PK movie is always number PK. PK and ESD. Remember the PK movie, ST movie, they're always number one movies. They were number one movies. Number one, they're always first in there. Uh, you know, billboard me, they were always first. Remember like that. Okay, okay. Billboard or movie board, whatever. Okay. PK is Proshner Kushner reaction. And this is Schwartz Dale phenomena. These two are this is a type of you know uh, immune reaction where IgE has important role. That's what do IgE, these allergic reactions. We are uh, we are doing some drug, it's like a drug reaction. You put a drug, you know, you inject and you check. It's like an experiment, and that is usually mediated by IgE. That's what is important. PK and SD are number one. Remember, PK and S number one, and Kesoni is number one. This you have to remember. Okay, so shortcut zorat nahi One means allergy, one means allergy, anything related with allergy. Bronchial asthma, usually common, allergic rhinitis, atopic dermatitis. Atopy, anything atopy, atopy, step one. A for one, A1, 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 A1. Okay, that's what A1, 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 A1 cleaning powder. You know, you remember A1, I'm kidding. So A1 is number one, A is always number one. Okay, first. So, okay, these things. And PK and SD also number one movies. So remember like that, no need shortcut. But for G, I want you to remember the shortcut. G, Kelly, the shortcut is, you remember, all of you must be knowing, my blood, my blood group. It is very easy, but you should know my blood group is, my blood group is, okay, my blood group is what? RH, RH positive, RH positive, okay, RH positive. This is the shortcut. My blood group is RH positive. Please remember, type 2 ka, you have to remember, no other option. My blood group is RH positive. Zada, it's not Zada Dikkat, okay, this is one mnemonic you have to remember. G Kelly, even more easy. Three means sharp. Okay, sharp. You remember, right? Three always, you see anyone, uh, even your, uh, uh, you know, ohm, whatever you see, there are three. Three means what? Three means they're sharp, right? They're like 
see like uh, uh, you know the, the the symbol of this is like you know three that means sharp so sharp mind s h a r p sharp mind okay it's very sharp this one this metal of course you know you have seen in the god as having this very sharp one so sharp mind okay three is sharp mind okay sharp mind now let's go to the diseases name so I'm, I'm I'm taking a little bit slowly here because this without this you can't enter the exam and it's very very easy you there is no way you're going to miss okay no way you're going to miss and tell that sir I I didn't answer it rightly okay I don't want to hear that I'm you know it's okay I'm just I'm kidding but I'm sure you will not forget it M for the disease name is myasthenia gravis just now we said okay myasthenia gravis the disease just we came the see the previous question me again that's what now it's easy if you remember the shortcut my blood group orange first you remember oh myasthenia gravis so type 2 you would have answered and you would have easily got one mark okay the blood B for any blood transfusion any blood transfusion I would say type 2 can be type 2 is for anything in the blood anything 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 with the blood cells anything with the blood cells that's what cytotoxic cytotoxic they call because it's always lit with the cells blood cells so anything related with the blood transfusion got it g for graves disease mycena gravis ab graves disease okay graves graves also Graft versus host reaction. Graft versus host reaction. We will talk it later. Graft versus host reaction. Okay. Graft, graft versus host reaction. Graft, I write graft reaction. So to remember, especially when you talk about the acute and hyperacute reaction, they will come in type 2. Okay. G for G2 graft graft. Okay. And I is for iso uh, 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 idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Idio, this is basically idiopathic, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. Thrombocytopenic purpura. Okay, idiopathy, I'm sorry, thrombocytopenic purpura, thrombocytopenic purpura. Idea is platelet camorra, that's blood only. Nah? So that's what I'm saying, anything with the blood cell. RH is basically rheumatic fever, remember. Fever either aiga, not the rheumatic arthritis, rheumatic fever. This is also a question they can ask. And post, what is PS for? P stands for? Pernicious anemia, pernicious anemia. AB blood me hai, RBC related hai. anemia either agya. Not only your pernicious anemia, anything, any anemia, any anemia, anemia, koi bhi, you know, anything related with the blood cell, so like hemolytic anemia, you should not ask much. Anything related with the blood, blood anemia, thrombocytopenia, uh, RH incompatibility. Yeah, I didn't write RH. RH means RH incompatibility also. RH rheumatic fever and RH incompatibility. RH incompatibility. Okay. Uh, and uh, not only that, blood incompatibility, wrong blood matching, everything crossing, everything will come in type 2. Okay. But even if you forgot, remember my blood group is RH positive. It's mandatory to know. Okay, pernicious anemia, rheumatic fever, all were frequently asked questions. Graves disease, my, this time you might get Graves disease. You know, you never know, you never know. And any blood related reactions, okay? That's what I'm saying, blood, blood, blood. Blood, agya, matlab, all anything related with the blood reaction, blood cell reactions, okay? It could be platelet, RBC, whatever, to put it there, okay? Got it, nice. Now, now immune complex mediator. For immune complex mediator, sharp, the clue is sharp, okay? Uh, I like to change the color so it's even more, uh, it looks good. Yeah. So now sharp kelia, how you remember? Yes stands for, you know, there's some disease called what? Serum sickness. Okay. Serum sickness. Important. Eh? Serum sickness was asked many times. This is also type of experimental reaction only. Uh, it's, they call uh, serum sickness. And one more thing, A is called orthus phenomena. Orthus phenomena or orthus reaction. Okay, serum reaction, orthos reaction. This is one is systemic, one is local. Orthos is local, serum is systemic. Okay, that's no need to remember all the details. Remember serum sickness and SLE. SLE also. SLE was a question asked many times. Okay, both are important. So, yeah, yeah, one, two, three. OB is here, yeah, SLE. One, two, three. Also, remember type three. Otherwise, serum sickness. And H is basically hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity pneumonitis. It's also called as pneumonitis. It's also called farmer's lung. It's also called farmer's lung. Okay, farmer's lung. Remember that. Okay, got it. And R. R stands for rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Remember, rheumatoid fever either aiga, rheumatoid arthritis aiga, type 3 may. It's totally different. Because rheumatoid is immune complex mediated. So again, I'm stressing on this. This word is important. Immune complex mediated. I for immune complex mediated. You must know type 3. And C, cytotoxic. That is a give a lot of clue. And P. P stands for uh, P, at least you should know uh, in P, which one you are, uh, what is this? 
post streptococcal glomerulonephritis yesterday in uh, uh, you remember we had a question from PSTN also so that also sorry mom PSTN also can be asked so this is important PSTN also important or so everything so whatever uh, there are many diseases but I have selected only important diseases that from examination point of view okay so remember that and M stands for basically it's a mycobacterium leprae reaction mycobacterium leprae type 2 lepra reaction it's basically lepra reaction type which one type 2 type 2 ka lepra reaction okay it comes from type 2 reaction because 2 plus 3 is 5 remember like the 2 plus 3 is 5 I, I i'll talk about the other one also don't worry okay i'm sorry yeah 2 plus 3 is 5 so remember like that okay 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 okay so my type 2 reaction lepra reaction type 2 that's it okay so shark mine oh yeah got it now, type A to all allergy, type 4 is delayed. That means anything related to cell mediated. So, most common is contact dermatitis. The question will come many times. The question is asked many times. Contact dermatitis is one question they will ask you surely. Okay. With that, frequently asked is the tests. What are the tests you know? What are the tests you know when you are going? What are the uh, what are the diagnostic tests that we can do in the type 4 hypersensitive reaction? You know very well tuberculin. Tuberculin test and what else? Lepramine. Don't forget your lepramine. Tuberculin test, lepramine test, and one more test. You remember? Freeze. Freeze test. Okay. Freeze test. This all are type 4 hypersensitive reaction. Questions at least tuberculin lepramine will come. You must know. There is, there is no way you're going to leave it. Okay. So these are the type. Kesoni will be type 1, KSS number 1, but Tuberculin, lepramine, freeze will come in the delayed hypersensitivity. Anything related to uh, contact with this, there's a contact with this IV, uh, some metals or whatever, patient got dermatitis, been for months, anything like that comes, that is type 4, delayed hypersensitivity reaction. That's it. Okay. Acid, you don't forget. And don't forget, my blood group is RH positive and sharp mind for type 3. 3 sharp mind. 3, three ka essay karo. you're having this, uh, will know, the thing, a piercing thing, 3. So sharp, that is very sharp. Sharp mind, okay. Sharp mind, okay. Got it. That's it. This one you remember, even for the if you uh, if you're confused, okay. Now let's go back to the question. Look at this question now. Now, as we told, so diplopia, myasthenia gravis. We already told myasthenia comes in which one now? In the the shortcut was my uh, my blood group is R, my blood group is Rh positive. Rh positive. So I got M here. M for myasthenia gravis. That's it. Okay. So your answer should be type two hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, so next time they might give you grapes, you might get grapes, you might get, I don't know, anything can come, pernicious anemia or RH incompatibility, anything related with, apart from these mycelium grapes, or anything related with the blood, blood transmission, RH compatibility, RPC cells or thrombocytopenic purpura, all comes under type 2. So this is tricky, but mandatory. This is something you must write and stick it in your wall, okay? Stick it in your wall so that, you know, you, you process it, okay? So just put a little bit of effort and definitely I, I'm sure you guys are going to do well in your exams, okay? Sure, no doubt in it. Okay, next question. Uh, now, rheumatoid arthritis, see, everywhere is coming. Now, there's the, now uh, rheumatoid arthritis has come. So, you know, that uh, the clue for type 3 is what? The clue sharp mind, S-H-A-R-P, sharp mind. So, where do I find? R is here, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, rheumatoid. So, this is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. This is type 3, yeah? This is type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. But, unfortunately, there's 1, 2, there's no 3. They were autoimmune immunity. But, of course, your rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, like your SLE, uh, like your rheumatic fever, everything. Rheumatic fever also, autoimmune, your uh, uh, PSD and post optogomeral nephritis, common diseases which are autoimmune. So, rheumatoid arthritis type 3, nahi hai, so they, it's autoimmune. So it's easy. So if you know the shortcut for this, it's very easy. So three means sharp. Okay, three is. You know, this is the thing. It's three for now. Three, three for sharp. It's a sharp, sharp mind. Okay. So remember the shortcut, then you will make one question right. So you will have one question from hypersensitivity. So you have to remember acid hypersensitivity reaction. Okay. And my blood group is Rh positive and sharp mind. Very important. Okay. Next. Which immunoglobulin is highest? So now see, that's what we discussed because you're going to have a lot of uh, uh, things here. Which immunoglobulin antibody is highest concentration? I told you, Kon jada hai? Bhagavan jada hai? Concentration jada hai? Usko half-life jada hai? Serum concentration, daily concentration, sab kuch jada kiska hai? Aapko Bhagavan ke So the answer is IgG. Okay, this is the answer. Got it? IgG. G for God. Once again, God, God, God. Don't forget, don't forget God. God is everything. God means everything. Okay. Maximum, highest production. Everything is high, high, high. Okay. That's what. Okay. Easy question. Now, 
Oh, now this is another important question here. Uh, also, you must know. Now, let's go. The macrophages in liver. So we have macrophages. Macrophages are basically phagocytic cells. You know that phagocytic cells. So the macrophages have different, different name in different, different organs. Okay. So now in liver, what it is called in liver, whatever. I know how I remember liver, a cup. I fill my cup with liver. I fill my cup with liver. You know, non-vegetarian people, they like to eat liver, fried liver. So I fill my cup with the liver, number one. Number two, don't mess with your kidney. Don't mess with your kidney. Otherwise, what happened? You'll get renal failure, right? If you mess with your kidney, you'll get renal failure. So don't mess with your kidney. Okay, there's a clue. Just wait. So why is a cup? Because kupfer. K-U-P-F-F-E-R, kupfer. Mess because it's called a mesangial cell. Mesangial cell. The kidney is called mesangial cell. And what you have to do uh, in uh, during the childbirth, half placenta is removed. Half placenta is removed. They say what I know during delivery time, full placenta doesn't come. Half placenta only comes. Half remain inside, right? So that is half means half boyer. Half B A U E R. Half boyer cell. Okay, and and uh, and yeah, and uh, this for brain, what do you call microchip? You know, they put microchip in my brain these days. Microchip is popular to brain, so microglial cell, microglial cell, very simple. You know, you don't have to use your brain. I know you when you read it looks very easy, but in examination, are better if I don't give this clue. Well, let me finish one more and then I'll come for bones. For uh, for uh, yeah, in bones, what do you call what is the macrophage called? In orthome, people, what they do? They put cast. What cast? Macro cast. Micro cast nahi hai. Macro cast means osteoclast. Osteoclast is for bone. In bone, the macrophage is called osteoclast. Not osteocyte, not osteoblast, and not microblast or microcyte. That's what I'm giving this clue. Macro cast. Orthome, aapko fracture aage to what they put? They put a cast. Cast to micro nahi hai. Macro cast. Okay. So macrophage means cast. Osteoclast. Clast. Okay, I'm making cat. That's osteoclast. Okay, osteoclast. So this is the thing. So Abhi, what happened now in the exam? What happened? Let me say I didn't give this clue. You're directly going in sitting exam. What happened? Macrophage and liver. Liver. Uh, oh, kufar. Sir, kufar or hog boy? Ye dono mein confusion ho or maybe messenger. Uh, I, if you're confident, students go, no problem. But students, you know, I'm talking about the majority students who we are the normal students who, you know, a little bit uh, confused with all these things. For them, it'll be trouble. So now what is liver? Liver to then what is ah, sir, sir ne bola tha, ya, liver ko cup mein dal do. Cup ka hai? Cup, kupfer, ho gaya, your answer. Ne, to if they give placenta, hey, sir, to placenta ko bola nahi. Placenta to bola ya, you bola half placenta ko remove karo. Remove only half placenta. Half, half boyer. You don't mean to write. Messenger, mess. Are liver mein, kidney mein kya hai? Kidney mein to sir ne bola tha, don't mess with the kidney. Don't mess with the kidney. So that means mess, messenger. Yes, your answer will be right. Monocyte is monocyte only. Monocyte is just a cell. It's present there. It's also a type of uh, immune cell only. Nothing much to talk. Okay. Microglia. Next time you might have in a brain. In brain, it's a cell. brain may microchip dal do. So micro to microglia, you got an answer. Okay. Got it? That's the way you're going to answer. And bone may agato, it's osteoclast. Finished. Easy, easy. So you'll never make any mistake. Okay. So got it? Now, next question. Now, let's go to another one. Look at this question. A patient developed the running nose, wheezing, Several times a year. So he has what? He has allergic, allergic, uh, something allergic rhinitis, probably allergic rhinitis. And these features are due to granulation of which cells? Yes. During, uh, we talked about the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, but we didn't tell in type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. When you talk about allergy, we told that it is mediated by immunoglobulin E, and of course, there's eosinophilia. But one more thing you don't forget there is some important cell called mast cell. Mast cell releases something called what? Histamine. Histamine. This is the main culprit for all allergic reaction. To understand, these immunoglobulins, what happened? They activate your mast cell. That mast cell will produce a lot of histamine. That histamine is the reason for allergic reaction. So now you see degranulation of which cell? Degranulation of what histamine was released. So your histamine is released from which cell? Mast cell. So that's important. That you should know. Allergy means mast. Okay. Mast means allergy. Mast means allergy. Allergy means histamine. Okay. That's it.
very simple okay mast cell for allergy you remember that okay sure so we done with this now let's go into virology now what is important what are the questions they've asked this question is one of the one of my favorite question you can say look at the question electron microscopy picture was given to you and then which is the best diagnosis of the organism okay so now uh, now you will uh, you will let's do one thing let's go to the explanation then come back that will be more easier otherwise it's no fun so look at this picture this is basically dog so when you see a dog what are you going to think dog means which one which disease you're you thinking it is a rabies very good so this girl this girl her name is what lisa she is lisa lisa's dog you see it's crazy it's got rabies lisa's dog got rabies so the, lisa is from you know which place she's from nil greece my place nil greece she's from nil greece this nisa from nil greece she got a dog rabies so what she want to do she want to kill by a gun and a bullet she want to put a gun and bullet into the dog and kill or she want to what sell the she want to sell the dog sell the dog okay a rabies doctor you can't keep at home now so if the dog got rabies the dog got rabies so she want to put a gun or she want to either she want to kill it with a gun and bullet or she want to sell the dog you know see see how smart she is and then what to do so now now she's alert so because dog can be any time it can bite her so all the time you know what she carries she carries a fluorescent torch she carries a look at her look at her she's carrying a fluorescent once again yes she's carrying a fluorescent torch see this picture if you remember this picture she's carrying a fluorescent torch okay she's carrying a fluorescent torch okay f l u fluorescent torch she's carrying a fluorescent torch that's it your rabies is over okay this much only sir both are it yeah i know <laughs> this is the thing you have to remember there is not much to know okay i'll tell you how now remember listen to me carefully nil grease because you know uh, first let's start with lisa why did i say lisa this rhabdo this is rhabdo viride rhabdo viride is rabies because rhabdo viride we call this belongs to which one it belongs to lisa viride group lisa viride group that is the family lisa viride lisa lisa that was a question asked in one of pg exams okay lisa okay dog rabies because the the, the this the, the lisa was whatever dog is the infection is rabies why put gun or bullet because the shape of the virus is bullet shaped okay bullet shaped bullet means aapko dog yana chahiye that means you should get remember what rabies so bullet shaped yeah what is the cell means why did i put cell uska naam hai selinger's in okay? is the name of the strain is selinger okay selinger strain selinger strain is also a question the special strain is this. so sell the dog sell the dog sell the rabies dog selinger fluorescent torch because this is the main diagnostic tool that is the what we call direct fluorescent antibody test we do direct fluorescent antibody test fluorescent this is a special best gold everything this is the test okay direct fluorescent antibody test testing okay direct fluorescent antibody testing is the test so fluorescent kiske chahiye raat ka time mein rabies log aapko katega very dangerous even in delhi so you have to always carry a fluorescent torch not a mobile torch fluorescent torch okay remember these are the clues now why did i put nil grease nil grease is because i'll tell you why uh, the there is a special body if you remember what body negri body negri bodies okay negri bodies if you remember usually in post mortem in post mortem if you want to confirm that the patient has died from the uh, rabies only then what you do you have to do a post mortem so in the post mortem in the post mortem what you will see you will see negri bodies usually in which area hippocampus this was a question repeated many times so negri agya to please i know you guys are sure hippo cam first i know you guys are very confident with negri bodies you must be knowing surely i know that but again for some students were difficulty that sir i forgot so don't worry negri remember me remember my area, my place my hometown nilgiri nilgiri negri lisa is from my place lisa is from my place nilgiri so negri body negri body occurs in hippocampus and cerebellum this is a common site so when you do uh, uh, you uh, when you uh, uh, do a biopsy you take the biopsy and if you stain with the selinger you see this ones this this picture you're seeing here this stain inside this inside your purkinje cells this inside your brain cells yeah it's inside the brain neurons 
So you can see this staining here. Here's the light color stain. Those are negative bodies. I don't know if they give the question like dog body, but give this picture. It's easy. Either cell, cell dog, or cell car, or cell linger, uska, uh, bodies, negative bodies. Okay. But so this is the, this is usually in postmortem. This is basically in postmortem only we do this. Postmortem. But when the patient is live, what we're doing? That's what we're doing, this fluorescent torch. And for fluorescent torch, which is the best place, best site to take this? Okay, that I'll come now. So you remember this clue, right? You remember this clue. Now let's go back. Look at this picture. They're given the picture and they told you to identify the organism. Electron microscopy skin, which is the best test for the diagnosis. They didn't give, they indirectly, they asked. First of all, identify. Yeah, electron microscope, may if you have a shape like this, what is that shape called? That is the bullet. Bullet. So bullet kiska morogi rabies doko. So your diagnosis is rabies. Oh yeah, you made your diagnosis. Bullet shaped virus. Rabies. Yeah. Now the virus isolation. Uh, what is the diagnostic? Virus isolation by cell line culture. You can we do possible rapid fluorescent focus inhibition test. You can do fluorescent antibody uh, neutralization test. We can do direct fluorescent antibody test. Is the Best test. That's what I do. Up rat me kya karogi fluorescent torch leke jaogi because rabies dog katarna ke bite ek dum bite kiya to rabies you are finished. Rarely you survive. I mean if you're not vaccinated, right? So direct fluorescent antibody. So fluorescent. You answer direct fluorescent. Now okay, sir. Direct fluorescent is case sample case se kahan se? So what? So uh, I mean so this is a, this is a blood direct fluorescent antibody should do it. But for uh, uh, for uh, this uh, negri bodies are identified, which is the best place to take the sample, your nape of the neck. Or for a uh, nape of the neck is the best, especially for diagnostic purpose, Kelly, where you will take the sample means nape of the neck. I'm talking about this is the antimortem, not the postmortem, antimortem. And when the patient is still alive, and if you want to confirm that it is, uh, it is apart from this direct fluorescent test, if you want to do a stain and check for the thing, if you want to check for the uh, negri bodies or whatever, I mean, uh, to confirm it that it is uh, rabies, the best place to take the sample is nape of the neck. They have follicles in the, the follicles and neuron, uh, the neurons are attached there. So it's easy. So nape of the neck is the best place. Though cornea is but cornea is painful. A live person's a cornea, so you can't take the sample. So you, the best place to take the sample is best place to collect the sample is nape of the neck. This also question. This is a question. Okay, remember nape of the neck and the test is direct fluorescent test. Okay, so uh, the rabisco shape. At least this is important. Apart from that, there's some other issue. If you remember space vehicle, I told Adinon, Adnan Swami. You remember that one? Box is box. You remember? And uh, which other virus? Uh, flower petal appearance for your coronavirus. Yeah. And then astrovirus, a star like appearance. That's all in my virology notes. If you want, just go through a quick revision. Those are the pictures we have given. And, you know, they might tell you to identify the picture. Okay. Filamentous is Ebola virus. Yeah. These are the some important viruses you should know. At least bullet shape, you must know. Bullet means Nilgiri, Lisa. My place. Nigri body, Nisa. Uh, Lisa, not Nisa. Lisa. Nisa is Nigeria. Different story. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa is a dog lover, but her dog got rabies. And she's from my place, Nilgiri's Nigri bodies. That's it. Got it? Hippocampus, cerebellum, don't forget. That's a favorite place for your uh, Nigri bodies. Okay, that's it. Now let's go into, we've completed almost rabbit. And of course, the vaccination, you know, the, the vaccination, cut, uh, the period is usually what? You'll take it 0, 3 days, 7th day, 7th, 14th, 28th, and one more booster later on. You will call after, uh, uh, you, you will give them a special, after, after uh, uh, it will be on the uh, 60th 60th day or something like that. That means one booster will be there. After this one booster, you will call accordingly and tell. Okay, this is the uh, rabies vaccine ka schedule. Okay, okay, that's all. Okay, now let's go into next question. Now let's look at this question. A 40 year old man from village came with a complaint. Is a uh, 40 year doesn't matter. Fever and chills. He had. He has fever and chills. Okay, it could be anything. Okay, anything. And he had an episode of dark stool. Okay, dark stool was there. Okay, P physician performed a test and the image was shown. Okay, if this is the image they have shown here. This is the image. Okay, and image is near the anterior cubital fossa. It's in the cubital fossa. This is a picture in the anterior cubital fossa. Some rashes are there. So now they are going to, we are going to see what it is. Huh. Now, the image is near the antigubal, so identify the Muslim organisms. Now, see the clue. The clue is fever and chill to anybody can have. Uh, any fever and chill to any, any infection you can have. The dark stool. Whenever you, the stool is dark means, what is the stool is dark means, what is that? There is a bleeding. There is something bleeding in your GIT. GIT means bleeding. That is the first. It gives a clue. Whenever you say the dark stool. So, bleeding, hai to, that ka reason is what platelet must be. One of the reasons is platelet must be low, decreased. 
platelet must be decreased. So if the platelet is decreased means what is that disease? That should be dengue. You know that dengue fever. Dengue is the most common. So dengue. So now dengue. Okay, this is the gives you a clue. But apart from that, what is this thing they have given here? This is the test called what? Torniquet test. So now we are, we are coming. We are going to discuss it with dengue and then we are coming. The answer is dengue with uh, this one and with uh, this rashes, the torniquet test where, you know, you see your, when you're counting this petechias, they put a torniquet. The torniquet checking your BP, you know, like any torniquet you put on the arm. So here the, the blood vessels start to swell up and you'll see this rashes. So in, uh, per cubic mm, if it's, there is more than 20 rashes, Petechial bleedings are there per cubic mm, then that is definitely dengue hemorrhagic fever. Already it's complicated. Your dengue fever has become dengue hemorrhagic fever. Your platelet count has gone less than 50, less than 50,000. Yeah, it means it's decreased. It's definitely, uh, it could be any count, okay? But bleeding usually happens when it goes less than, you know, uh, 20, 10 only it happens, but doesn't matter. Your, your normal counts are less, so you have to think about any bleeding uh, problem can happen in the dengue. Okay, so look at this. Now, a little bit about dengue. Dengue again, you know, again, the season is uh, going on. So you can have uh, questions if examiners want to, uh, you know, uh, ask. So this is, what virus is this? This is the, which virus? Tiger mosquito. Uh, sorry, the first of all, the mosquito, tiger mosquito. Or otherwise, it's also called Aedes, yeah, Aedes. Aedes, Aedes mosquito, okay. Aedes, Aedes, huh? Aedes aegypticus. So this tiger mosquito, what is the virus? Virus is flavivirus. Dengue is caused by flavivirus. We have uh, no picture here. Okay. So the flavivirus is the one. Virus is the, the mosquito, is tiger mosquito and flavivirus. Okay. So don't forget. Tiger mosquito, apart from this, what else? What are other diseases it causes? Apart from me? Dengue, chikungunya. Okay. Dengue, your chikungunya. And what else? Any fever. Yellow fever. Yellow fever. All these things. Okay. These are all caused by your Aedes, Aedes, Aedes. Okay. All these fever, fever things all come from the, uh, your uh, dengue fever, chicken fever, yellow fever. All these things are by tiger mosquito. Flavi, again, Flavi virus is again, uh, not only this, Flavi, you have Flavi also, Dengue, Yellow Fever, Japanese Encephalitis, Western Nile, all these things will also cause by Flavi virus, but I'm just briefing it only. Okay, anything, all the fever, Japanese, all flavor things, you know, come. So Flavi virus, that's one thing. Now remember, which is, we have how many serotypes are there for Dengue virus? Uh, I'm going to write uh, Dengue virus. So we have how many, one to five types. The most dangerous is two is the most dangerous. Most dangerous. I'll tell you why. Most danger. Okay. This was also a question asked. If you're one liner and lucky, you might get type two is the most dangerous one. Most dangerous one. There is some phenomenon called antibody dependent enhancement. A D E A D E antibody dependent enhancement. This is very very important role in dengue hemorrhagic fever. Why? I'm going to tell you now. This question you can expect this question. You can. Why? This is called what antibody dependent enhancement. Enhancement, enhancement. What happened? Why people are getting dengue hemorrhagic fever? Usually, you know, whenever we have get an antibody, first time infection, hua, when first time this infection, our body develops antibody, and that antibody protects us from the subsequent infections, next infections, right? It should protect. Usually, I say what that protect karta. But dengue is so bad. In dengue, let's say usually the first infection is by dengue type one. Dengue one type infects you. Then we have, there, there is what? There is an antibodies produced here. These antibodies, they, they call, you call this non-neutralizing antibody also. This antibody, instead of protecting what happened, the next time when the patient get dengue, especially when he gets dengue 2 virus, dengue 2, dengue 2 virus, dengue 2 virus, what happened? This antibody, instead of protecting, it enhances the infection. That is the reason the patient will get dengue hemorrhagic fever and also it can go to shock dengue hemorrhagic fever dengue hemorrhagic fever i'm sorry dengue i'm sorry yeah so the patient will get what dengue hemorrhagic fever and sometimes shock also it goes to the shock okay so that's one important thing that you must know here i'm coming back again once again ah, so dengue hemorrhagic fever dengue hemorrhagic fever it's okay i'll just try to this pen yeah so, 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 sir, what are the diagnostic features? So, everything related to platelet only. So, we know that the most important thing, the general, uh, when you talk about the lab diagnosis, all are important. The first most important thing is that you already know, that is, we just spoke now, your platelet, you do a CBC, when you do a CBC, platelet count goes down. That is very characteristic. You can have leukopenia also, that is matter, but usually platelet going down is very dangerous, especially when it goes less than one lakh, it is suspicious, CBC. Number two, 
we have special test. What is special test? NS1 antigen. This question also can be asked. NS1 antigen from the infection till five days, till five days, this is the best. First one to five days, NS1 antigen is the best. And after five days, antibody will develop, that is IgM. IgM. IgM antibody for dengue, that will be after more than five days, KD, you can check the IgM. That's it. With this only, another test is the torniquet test, which I told you. The torniquet test is this test. Here you do what? When you put your torniquet and check for, uh, not every time it comes positive, but yeah, this is called torniquet. This is called torniquet test. When you tie the your uh, arm and then and you check the cubital force, if the rash of more than 20, that means the patient is having DHF, dengue hemorrhagic fever, DHF. That's it. So your the, this this question is going to think. So that means dengue may don't forget this antibody enhancement phenomena. It's one question. Okay, antibody, antibody enhance, antibody dependent enhancement is one question. You can expect this, and they can ask you mosquito, mosquito. You will not forget tiger, dengue. It's must. You will know it. And then what about the uh, AD eco, which which virus is common? Type 1 is the first infection, type 2 is the second. That's what we call what type 2 is more dangerous. So remember, type 2 dengue is dangerous because antibody dependent enhancement is characteristic for this type 2 only. When the second time attack type 2. Okay. And CBC when plated goes down. Also important, you should know thrombocytopenia is common. That means thrombocytopenia, plated plus thrombocytopenia. And NS1 is a specific test in the first initial day of fever, later IgM. So these are the of course PCR you can do. Okay, don't forget. So these are the things you can do. Okay. Now, next question. Another important question. Uh, yeah, you should know this also. Uh, uh, what is the, look at the picture. Which of the following color in the line is the Australian antigen? Okay, Australian antigen. So just you, I, even if you remember, if you don't remember, it doesn't matter. You know that Australian antigen means it comes for which one? It comes for which uh, 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 hepatitis B virus. So for hepatitis B virus, we have different type of antigens, right? The, in that, which one is called Australian antigen? It is the HBS AG, okay? HBS AG. So HBS AG is here. So your answer is which one? Dark blue, dark blue. I mean, I didn't get other pictures, so that's what I would make dark blue, light blue. So HBS AG is the Australian antigen. Now we'll talk a little bit about each antigens, okay? So that is important. You will have a question. So when you talk about HBS, hepatitis B virus, all the antigen antibodies are important. Usually there are different part, different uh, HBV, so you remember that's the only DNA virus in hepatitis virus. This is the only DNA hepatitis virus. Rest all A, your C, D, all are hepatitis. Only DNA hepatitis virus, okay? Hepatitis B, number one. Two, this virus got the different from spherical tubular form. This one particular Danny particle. Danny particle is something where every every antigen is present. Okay, Danny particle. So Danny ka kya hai? Hepatitis B. I don't forget. Remember like that also. Danny has hepatitis B. Now we are going to talk about there is what antigen and antibody. So we have three important antigens. Okay, I'm going to write it here. H B S A G, and then we have what H B E antigen, and then we have what H B C antigen, okay? Yes, E and C, number one, okay? And then for antibody also we have HBS, what? HBS antibody, that is anti-HBS antibody or whatever you want. You remember anti-HBS or HBS antibody. And we have what? HB eco antibody or you can say anti-HBS antibody, all the same there. You don't have to confuse. Just add an anti. Anti means it's already antibody. When you're adding anti, it is antibody, okay? And we have HBC antibody. I'll come. There are IgM, G and all. Now I'm going to make it very easy for exam purpose. So remember like this. HPS means how to remember. See, HPS ka another name. The surface is Australian antigen. Australian, Australian antigen. This is the first antigen to appear. This is the first antigen to appear in the blood. This is some first marker. It's a screening marker. Everything is HP sensitive only. Okay. This is the first antigen to appear. This is the best marker. Okay. Screening every HPS AG. Now, what does it say? Yes, and a clue. Hai. When you say yes means, yes means yes or no. Yes or no. You understand what I'm saying? Infection hai to, HPS AG is positive means it is yes. If it is negative, then it is no. Infection nahi hai. Itna karna. You understand? Yes or no. Yes stands for yes means infection yes. 
नो मीन्स नो हो गया एस एस हो गया एस का कहानी इतना ही है इट्स ऑस्ट्रेलियन एंटीजन ऑस्ट्रेलियन एंटीजन एस है फिर मोटर मलिक ओके हो गया नो वट एपन सेम एस का एंटीबॉडी प्रोड्यूस होगा तो इसका मतलब क्या है देर इज देर इज If yes is there, infection is there. Okay, that is one thing. If no means no means not there, but antibody already produced. होगा तो मतलब क्या है? There is no infection. Infection नहीं है. Already antibody produced हुआ ना, so there is no infection. Or patient is vaccinated because of vaccine. उन्होंने vaccinate किया होगा. Vaccinated. So that's what patient का ये नहीं है. There is no. Uh, there is only HBS antibodies there. So this means it's good. HBS antibody means it's good. It's vaccinated. Okay. Got it? Clue. It's not here. That's what if you want to take vaccinated care away, not करने के लिए you are always taking this titer. Okay. Anything vaccine, you remember anti HBS AB. Okay. Infections there or no? बस हो गया. Very simple. Yes means yes or no. Antibody means no infection. It's vaccinated. Got it? First one. Second one, sir, E का कैसे याद करो? E means again I'm saying for me E is always evil or enemy, evil or enemy, evil or enemy, evil or enemy कैसे होता है? Always क्या होता है? Evil or enemy, bad होता है. They are always bad. Okay, they are bad. So bad मतलब क्या है? उसका infectivity is very high. Infectivity is very high. High infectivity. Pathogenicity also very high. सारे dangerous things ज़्यादा होते हैं. Infectivity है, पैसेंट है, replicability. Replicability also very high. This का मतलब totally bad prognosis. Prognosis is very very bad. Okay, you understand? Everything is dangerous, bad about it. So E for enemy, E means everything bad. Ah, huh? but same E को already antibodies produced means what? Everything is low. Infectivity is low. Pathogenicity is low. Replicability is also low. Everything is low. So good. The prognosis is good. That means infectivity is less. Infection is less. You got it? That's one clue. E for enemy. Yes for yes or no. E for enemy. Enemy means everything is bad. Okay. Antibody already produced. Hogo tha. Everything is good. C. C is a core antigen but useless. I would say C is C. Remember like this. It's chronic or acute. It says C says chronic or acute, but not the antigen. But not the antigen. It's a antibody. Antibody. This is because core is. Useless because it's always it's in the center part. वो बार नहीं आता है. It takes so much time to come out, or it never comes out. Center में है. Okay, that's what it is. Core. Core का मतलब यही है. Okay, in the Danny particle, we have like this. C, center would be C. Then उसका surrounding में होगा E. Then outermost में है आपका yes. That's what surface antigen comes first. You understand? That's what it comes first. E say core तो center में वो नहीं आएगा. Okay. So now A B C antibody का if it is I G M हो सकता है और I G C. IgG, sorry, IgG, I'm sorry, Ig, IgG, okay, IgM and G, G तो you know always G for God, God will help all the chronic people, chronic infection people. M is milliner, M will usually help the acute infection people, acute infection. So इसका मतलब hepatitis का acute infection है, G मतलब chronic infection है, and G के साथ. That's it. इसका basis में कोई question आ गया तो please don't forget. I know it's many are smart you remember, many who can't remember at least ये याद करो. Yes है तो yes or no infection, yes or infection no. बस. Okay. E है तो enemy. Everything would be bad. High, high, high. Antibody होगे तो everything low, low, low. C, C is core, but useless core. वो अंदर ही घुसता है, safe इनसे doesn't come out. But Ig, AC antibody का Ig, Mg they have a role. They say acute or chronic. बस इतना याद कर लें. This is very important. Okay. So in this picture, uh, uh, I some uh, uh, I some questions में they have given. Uh, see here, first initial from the starting of the infection till 24 days. HBS is just the diagnostic marker. And after 32, anti-HBS is antigen. In between period, hai na? in between period, mein, the, this one is the best. This one is the best. IgM antibody. It's because if I remember, I told the first antibody to appear, the first antibody antigen to come as your HBS AG. The first anti, the first antibody, first antigen is HBS. First antibody to come in the blood for diagnostic purposes, IgM. This is the first antibody. First antibody. Okay. Remember that. Okay. This is the first antigen and this is first antibody. That is the clue. Clue. Okay. So for marker, you, you do HBS, AG only first. But after some time, if you notice, you can go for IgM also. 
Okay, after that uh, particular week, after uh, if you remember here in this graph, after twenty four weeks, you know it means it rises early itself. It's rising in red color. It's rising here itself. But in case sometimes you can do it. Okay, that's it. Okay, now, 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 now. Next question. Look at this beautiful question. Now you will be so. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now look at this question. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Ah. Uh, so here this says GAT patient presents GAT distress. He has a habit of eating outside. Eating, eating is a problem. Which apparatus virus can cause this disease? Okay, you know it's very very simple. Okay, so now we are going to, we have to discuss a little bit about the hepatitis uh, virus. So hepatitis A virus, hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, hepatitis D virus, and then I'm sorry, hepatitis. E virus. Okay. This is the common viruses. Now, what we know? Hepatitis A virus. Fico oral route. Which are the two one fico oral? Fico oral, hepatitis A virus, and other one is your E virus. Okay. Remember, a patient, whenever a patient has a jointless, uh, immediate acute sort of acute hepatitis jointless, the first thing you will ask about the eating habits. So in that case, you should, uh, if it's a heating habit related, food or water, you should think hepatitis A virus and hepatitis E virus. Question, question. Okay. What about these things? Hepatitis B virus, you know, the most common route is sex. After sex comes your blood transfusion, mm -hmm. vertical transmission, vertical, IV drug, all these things will come here. Hepatitis B. Sex is the most common route. Followed by blood transfusion, IV, etc. Hepatitis C virus are almost same like this, but it's usually blood transfusion first. Then comes the IV vertical because it's less common. Comparing to hepatitis B, it's less common. So that's what hepatitis B. D is almost same like the hepatitis B. Same like B. Okay. Same like B. Uh, because D can't live without B. It always needs B for the thing. Okay. This is the first point. Second point uh, important you should know is type of viruses. That can I can ask. A belongs to picorna. Picorna. Picorna virus. A, how to remember? A class pick. Nowadays, with a mobile, when you take a pick, it has to be A class. Don't forget. A class, best one. A pick has to be best. A class. Okay. So, this is a question they can ask. H, hepatitis B, already we told it's a DNA virus. Hep DNA. That's what we call Hep DNA. This is the only DNA virus. Remember, this is the only DNA virus. So, it's called Hep DNA. Hep DNA. Okay. Hep DNA virus. Easy. C, everybody likes chocolate flavor. Everybody likes chocolate flavor. Right? So, what does it mean? What is the chocolate flavor? What does it mean? What does it mean? Have for flavivirus. Flavor. Flavivirus. So, C is flavivirus. I had this question in my, I think in uh, MCI or in uh, F, uh, in uh, PJ. I don't know. I had this question. So, remember. C is chocolate flavor. Flavi. D is a dependent. E. What about E? E for? E is what? E is? E, e belongs to which one? It is? Yeah. Your glow. It's a? Calci virus, okay. Calci. Calci virus. Remember, okay. Flavi virus and E is a calci virus, okay. Right? Okay. Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So these are the, uh, the questions they can ask you in the exam. They can ask you which of the following is. Uh, uh, which of the, uh, I'm sorry, which of the, uh, which of the, uh, the, which virus group it belongs and D D also we forgot D is again it belongs with the it D is anyway belongs with the B only okay so it belongs with the B so you don't have to take uh, uh, separately you don't need to know so these are the picarna the hepatitis uh, hep DNA flavivirus E for cats virus that's it this much only you should know very 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 important okay yes now let's go to this question so eating outside food habit so it is your hepatitis A virus Okay, one more fulminant, yes. One more thing I forgot, fulminant virus. Which of the following cause the fulminant hepatitis? Fulminant means subse dangerous. That is which one you are? D, D for danger, okay? Remember, fulminant hepatitis means D means danger. D is danger because danger, subse katarna, comparing to B, D is the most dangerous one. But if they ask in pregnancy, in pregnancy, in pregnancy, okay, what happened? What happened in pregnancy? It is the hepatitis E virus. 
not only pregnancy if they ask you which of the following cause the fulminant hepatitis in pregnancy you should think about hepatitis e virus don't forget don't forget okay that's what these are the things you should know very 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 important you can't miss this question okay right okay now let's go to the these are the important points otherwise so you have to know no other option next thanks mia Sang smear, we, I, 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 we have discussed this many times, before told, Sang smear again and again, kya hai? what is that? Sang means you have to remember which one, which you have to remember? Herpes virus, right? Herpes virus. So herpes mein, which which one herpes? See, we have human herpes virus. Once again, let's leave it, revise a little bit human herpes virus. It's better, you know, human herpes virus. That means HHV. HHV, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, right? Right. I'm going fast. Okay. You have to know this very well. HSV one is otherwise basically herpes simplex virus one. Herpes simplex virus one. You know, any lesion above the waist, HSV one. Any lesion, vesicle, I'm talking about vesicle. Any lesion below base, that is HSV two. One, one, hogya, two, two, hogya. No confusion. Three. Three, how to remember? Varicella zoster. Zoster kese karu three stroke. Ese na? Varicella three stroke. One, three ka three. Varicella zoster virus. Okay. Varicella zoster. I'm writing here. Varicella. It's a chicken box. The one which is causing chicken box on your zoster. Varicella zoster virus. Okay. Then four. Four ka. How you remember? I told you Epstein bar virus. Bar ka B is B A R R. B A R R. So char letter ho gaya. Char. Type four. They can ask you. That's why I'm just you know revising it fast. So five is five ka. They go five ka niche ese hai. It's like a the five is like this, right? C hai. So, see, either dal do CMV, CMV virus. So, yeah. Six and seven, six and seven. Yes, yes, is there. So, what they cause? They cause, you remember, rosiola, rosiola infantum or exanthema subitum. Exanthema so yes, yes, agia. Do jagame, yes, yes, agia. Very, very simple. You're not going to make this type of questions. Making mistakes is not allowed. Eight for K, na? Ka, ka, ese karo, eight ho jayega. K stands for Kaposi sarcoma. I told this is the most common cancer in the HIV patient. Kaposi sarcoma. Right? It's a vascular tumor. Itna yi. Itna yi okay. This is for the brief. Now, now they said Sangsmere. What is the Sangsmere? You know what is the uh, Sangsmere stands for? What is that? Sangsmere is basically for, it's a, it's a skin, ka, it's like a, uh, what do you call Like a slit smear. You take the complete skin collision. Okay, and not a complete lesion when there is a vesicle or whatever. You you leave that vesicle or not, you take the base of the lesion. You scrap that base of the lesion and give to us. You send to the microbiology. So what we do, we do gymsa stain of that vesicle, that vesicular rash, whatever the vesicle you have sent, vesicle ka, basal part ka, that one. We make gymsa. We make a gymsa stain and check for this multinucleated. This cell is called multinucleated giant cell, MNGC. MNGC is characteristic for herpes simplex virus and zoster virus. All the three are right for all this. So here we don't have a virus or zoster. We have HPV, HIV, HSV, HSV. So HSV is the right answer. Okay. For basic, we are doing sang smear, sang smear, skin smear, especially for vesicles. From the base of the lesion, you scrap that lesion. You make a smear and then we put gymsa stain and we see under microscope. We are looking at this beautiful, giant, nucleated, multinucleated giant cell. All the phagocytes, the macrophages, they fuse together from the multinucleated giant cell. It is catastrophic for herpes simplex 1 and 2 and also varicella zoster. That means wherever there's vesicles, you can see this. If you answer it, don't forget. Sang smear, multinucleated giant cells are very, very important question okay important question you can ask either give science or they'll give you multinuclear giant cell seen in hsv one or two or uh various cells also doesn't matter okay so don't forget okay simplex is for sang smear okay sang if you forgot also see sang you know remember sang sang yes yes for herpes hsv even if you forgot okay the sound is say sang smear sang smear sang yes hsv finished sang hsv got it. okay got it next Okay, a little bit about uh, 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 I know you guys must rest a lot. When you talk about HSV1, this is the HSV1 virus car. Okay, if you see what you can see, what you can see here, what you can see here, let me just change the color. Uh, what is the first one? You're seeing a uh, herpetic, uh, uh, this is the herpetic crash, you know, you see oral herpes, you know, oral uh, uh, herpes. Uh, and then you, this is the one, see these vesicular lesions you're seeing, you know, these are the herpetic crashes. Okay, so those are the herpetic vesicular rashes you're seeing. We have herpetic vitlo, which is happening in your 
uh, finger and gladiatorum in the chest. Okay, so those things. So these are HSV1. This is a dentritic ulcer. Dentritic ulcer in the eye, you will read dentritic ulcer. This is basically you call herpes labialis. Okay, herpes labialis. Labialis means in the lips, labialis. Okay, herpes labialis and dentritic ulcer. And also, if you remember, one of the most common cause of sporadic encephalitis. Sporadic encephalitis is your HSV1. Okay, these are few things I just want to brush in because important questions can be asked from this question. Excuse me. Okay, herpes labialis, dentritic ulcer, gladiatorum, herpetic vitlo, all of HSV1. This one, the one you're seeing down, this is in the genital ulcer, genital vesicle, genital painful ulcer. Now, whenever there is a pain, I told you, whenever they give painful ulcer or vesicle, you think about what? HSV2, 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 don't forget. And HSV2 also in brain, what it was? Molar at meningitis, molar at molar, molar, and a molar ka meningitis, a molar, molar is a South Indian name, molar or molar, molar at got what? Molar got HSV2. Meningitis. Okay, these are important few things. I'm just brushing up the things. Okay, right. Next. Now look at this question. This is beautiful question. Yeah. Now a patient present with a painful blisters on the trunk involving dermatomes. Involving the dermatomes means only on that dermatome site. You see here. You see uh, in the image. Now what is the most likely diagnosis? So this this case you will see very commonly in your practice when you are during internship time also after PG also you will see very commonly you see you see this rashes is along the dermatome like this you see it's along the line unilateral and painful painful blisters and adult so what do you think that is the that is zoster that is zoster that is in adults called shingles your head shingles which is caused by varicella zoster virus okay varicella zoster virus you got it painful. So now see the flu. Measles, no. Measles, not along the dermatome, not blisters. Molluscum condition, not at all. Molluscum condition is caused by which one? You remember? Uh, measles by paramyxovirus, you know. Molluscum condition is important. I told what? Peter, Peter. Peter Parker, no? Peter. Uh, uh, I mean, what is that? Why I say Peter? Because Henderson, Peterson bodies. Exactly. You know, this is, uh, this is Peter. If you remember, I told Peter means what? You remember the uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Peter. So what happens here? Peter uh, Peter Parker, Peter, what happened? He has a umbilicus say, kya te? some cheese coming out. He's Spider-Man, no. So cheesy material, if you remember, cheesy material. Cheesy, that is the molluscum contagious, cheesy material. The body is what? Henderson, Peterson body. Henderson, Peterson. That's what I made that name, Peterson. So Peter, the molluscum condition, no doubt. Peterson, Henderson, Peterson body. Anderson Peterson body and what is causing it? Pox. Pox is causing it. Okay. Pox virus. Okay. That was the question. Pox is the biggest virus and it is a box like virus. That's a brick shaped. It's a brick shaped virus. Eh? That's a question. Brick shaped and the biggest, biggest brick, biggest pox. Who is that? Peter. Henderson Peterson. Uska kya hai? Uska umplicated lesion hai. GC material bar aata hai. Okay. These are the favorite of Peters. Henderson Peterson. That's what I wrote. Peter. Okay. Henderson Peterson. Henderson Peter. I'm sorry. Not Peter. Okay. It's Henderson Peterson. Okay. Henderson Peterson body. That's what I'm just reading. Okay. Chicken box aata hai? No. Chicken box is caused by virus or zoster virus only. But that is the first when in the childhood method. In childhood means special the first time varicella zoster virus infection that is a chicken pox but in adults when it reactivates when the same virus zoster in adult may reactivates that is varicella zoster but again in chicken pox may the lesions is complete it's not unilateral it's totally bilateral or complete everywhere but here it is usually unilateral and along the dermatome that's what and you know what's the treatment they're going to give for this painful blisters you know that is the gaba pentin gaba pentin Or pre-gabalin, pre okay? This is common question. It's a pharma question or medicine of gabalin. Okay, please remember that. Very important. I would say this topic is very, very important. You can't miss anything from this topic. Okay, so these things. Chicken box is first time and reactivation. So see, here I made it very easy for you in to add a little bit more. So see, even if you forget chicken box, see, this is a clue for you. Ye chicken hai. Chicken ka husband kya hai? Roaster hai. Na? Chicken is the wife. And this is the husband. Husband ka roaster hai. Yaan par roaster ka aap kya karo? Zoster bana do. Bas. Roaster, zoster. Bas ho gaya. Even if you forgot. Zoster kaha kaun se virus na? This is a chicken box virus. So they are all or what? Same virus. Virus or zoster virus. This is the chicken box. Chicken box lesions are like this. See? It is usually central may start at that. Chicken box always start. You remember from a childhood. It starts in the center and goes out. No? So we call it a centripetal. We call it a centripetal. Central se baar jata hai. Pleomorphic. 
pleomorphic matlab chicken pox ka characteristic lesion pleomorphic you will see in your practice also and this is a question asked frequently centripetal and pleomorphic the rashes are different types of rashes you know there is some blisters there is some macule there is a papule everything is so different type of rashes at same time different type of rash same time same time okay that's the question i'll ask you okay now uh, what is the infective period of the chicken but that's important infectivity period please remember it is two days before and five days after the rash two days before and five days after rash you see period me be very careful you shouldn't have contact with the patient okay two days before the rash and five days after the rash is the category measles ka just make it four days five days okay that's just a question PSM related, but of course you can remember from here also. This is the infectivity period. So important. Okay, got it. Now, this is the congenital. The, the next one is the congenital varicella syndrome. If you remember, it's a pediatric question, but I'm I'm bringing because it's uh, micro also here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, this is the congenital varicella syndrome. Congenital varicella syndrome. This is when the mother gets infected. When, when mother gets infected, five days before pregnancy, two days after pregnancy. Just this ulta. Here, the infective could go two, five, yamper five days ago. So in this time, what happened? The baby can have congenital virus syndrome. The pregnancy ka five days pegle, or pregnancy could two days ke baad, unka chicken box agaya to, then the child will get congenital virus syndrome. What is this? This is the one. This is they can get congenital virus syndrome. She can pass to the child, and the child can, can this is limb hypoplasia. This is called limb hypoplasia. Limb hypoplasia limb hypoplasia okay limb hypoplasia also there is some lesion called psychiatrical psychiatrical lesion ye dono pg me bahut baar puch chuka hai a pediatric point of view so you have to know psychiatrical lesion picture is not here skin is scar scar lesion aata hai so limb hypoplasia kiska hota hai chicken ka hota hai chicken box ka hota hai chicken ka hota hai theek hai chicken box ka hota hai okay remember that's important no and then here this is the one this is called this is the this is the congenital abhi next topic is what this is the one which we we got the picture now what is it? this is when the reactivation happens in the adulthood when the reactivation happens in the adulthood yeah kya hoga when you have reactivation in the adulthood you will get the zoster that's called shingles shingles adult mate is called shingles usually unilateral one side only and it's painful so you have to give treatment what pentagabalin penta uh, you give uh, gabapentin or uh, penta, uh, gabapentin you give okay okay that's very very important the treatment you're going to give for the decreasing the pain and what is this sir this is one what is this one why the why justin bieber is here justin bieber also had this he had shingles okay and then what happened he got ramsey hunt syndrome ramsey hunt ramsey hunt syndrome ent question this is ent question but i'm going to put here because this also asked ramsey hunt syndrome ramsey hunt syndrome what happened ramsey hunt me he what uh, your uh, uh, geniculate ganglion your geniculate ganglion was affected geniculate ganglion so uska kya hua tha seventh nerve paralysis seventh nerve paralysis so uska so he had a if you see this facial paralysis paralysis he had this facial palace on one side like this okay that's what so that's a question ramsey hand is because of chicken pox remember so justin bieber ka yaad karo ramsey hand is chicken pox okay uska chicken pox hai usko check kar okay okay so chicken pox ram so or justin bieber likes ram you remember like justin bieber he likes the ram okay that's also nice question okay yeah got it now next one so we got your answer right so this painful blisters everything comes so the answer is not the chicken pox it should be a varicella zoster Okay, because adult may it's a single unit other. So don't confuse chicken pox and the uh, shingles. Both are same virus. One is in the children, one is in the adult, and one is the reactivation, one is in the primary itself. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I I, I briefed it. So this is enough. For, it's almost covering most of your viruses here. Okay, now inclusion bodies. Okay, what is this beautiful one? Inclusion body of the virus shown in the image. So identified. You must know. Uh, okay, I mean students who are familiar, they know. And again, I'm 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 constant students don't know. Ye kaise dekhra? How does it look? It looks like a Owl, owl. I don't know Hindi name, but it's owl. I know owl. So it looks like this. Look at this. Who is this first picture? Everyone knows. See, sir, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Okay, CM Chief Minister. Uska ghar mein kya hai? Owl. Hai. Not only Arvind Kejriwal. Every Chief Minister in their house, they have an owl. That's what you have to remember. I don't know they have or not, but for micro part of view, it's helping us to clear and to get good score cm koi it could be the, the our stalin or any cm okay any chief minister uska ghar par kya hai aula so this is what this is a cm means cmb cytomegalovirus 
आउल इज आउल आई इंक्लूशन बॉडी सी उसका आंक देखो इट लुक्स लाइक दैट ना इट लुक्स लाइक दिस आई है ना इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सो सेम थिंग इसी पिक्चर में देखो वॉट यू सींग यू सींग दिशन यू सींग दिस लिशन हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक एन आउल आई सो दिस आउल आई मीन्स चीफ मिनिस्टर चीफ मिनिस्टर मीन्स साइटोमेगोलो वायरस गॉट इट साइटोमेगोलो वायरस सो जस्ट थोड़ी देर पहले हमने बात किया था वॉट इट वी सेट वेन टॉक अबाउट सी एम बी वायरस The important thing is that when talk about CMV, what what CMV virus ka? I write it here only. CMV virus ka important thing is that it causes uh, in HIV patient. It is the most common cause of retinitis. Retinitis. I am repeating again. This question is frequently asked. CMV virus causes retinitis, especially when the cell count goes less than fifty. Yeah. One is your mac mycobacterium avium complex. HIV is common. Hai. Mycobacterium avium intracellular. Hai, MIAI. Other one is your CMV retinitis. Yeah, HIV is very very common. Remember, okay, that's one question. Second one, CMV. We uh, we if you remember, uh, CMV. Uh, it causes uh, infective mononucleosis like your Epstein Barr virus. It also causes infective mononucleosis, but its care what is negative? Paul Bunnell is negative. Paul Bunnell is negative. Paul Bunnell is negative. ईबीवीएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएमएम
coriza and then they have cold everything will happen in the 10th day mein ccc all cc will happen in the 10th day 12th day mein kya aata hai they'll get the coplic spot coplic spot it's very important coplic spot okay they can ask 14th day mein rash got it rash abi abi i'm coming abi i'm coming now you tell me the tell me all the pictures this is a this is a question what is the spot what is the spot i'm seeing it that's the coplic spot very good this one coplic spot aa gaya this is a coplic spot you can have this and coplic spot exactly which if you see this is nearly lower molar l for l l for molar lower molar m for measles lower molar okay lower molar lower molar not upper molar ob question hai lower molar coplic spot is in the lower molar okay coplic spot okay okay rash rash typical usually rash starts where back of the ear back of the ear okay back of the ear yaad kar lens very important measles rash start behind the ear and then it spreads everywhere okay got it so there one number two you see ha rashes in the palms and soles palms and soles if you remember adults ka that is syphilis children's ka see this rash in the palms and soles this is your measles measles and this child what happened the rash has spread it all over the face and it has come here from the ear it started and came to all over the face that's important for your measles and one finding is what is that pathologically important finding what is the cell name warthin pinkidley cell warthin pinkidley m and f looks m m and w looks m warthin pinkidley pin kidly cell all our question asked what pin kidly cells i'm not going to lie everything that's what i have made this for you guys okay you have to remember and la warthin pin kidly ek cheez and one more important thing we are forgetting what is the complication apart from the symptom complication may nowadays they are frequently asking what is that what s p e okay uh, ssp i'm sorry ssp sub sclerosing pan encephalitis this was i'm saying ssp okay ssp people get crazy after years neurological problem usually patient die before that but this one severe condition go ssp okay sub sclerosing pan encephalitis that's it and if you want to talk about the vaccine vaccine ka naam kya hai garib ko measles dena hai garib zagreb okay edmonston zagreb edmonston edmonston zagreb edmonston zagreb edmonston zagreb okay this is the vaccine Is garib vaccine garib measles mumps ko you know jerry i'm not bring it jerry everything bada hai jerry bada hai okay that's it and rubella you know r27 by 3 rubella ka r27 by 3 okay i'm not going to write it that we have discussed before many times chicken ke liye whenever you chicken what is the vaccine okay you'll say tasty okay okay chicken ke liye okay let me write it there also because uh, we just finished it here so i'm going to write here vaccine for chicken pox Vaccine for chicken pox. What say? Whenever you eat a delicious chicken, KFC chicken, you say, "Wow, okay." You say, "Okay," when you eat chicken. Okay, this is the vaccine for chicken pox. Remember, okay, okay, strain, okay, strain. So got it. So I have completed. I think uh, everything. There, there cannot be any question out of this topic. I've, I've covered everything for your measles. Okay. So mom's scale, everything, bada bada hai. Thyroid, parotid ka enlargement, testis enlargement, those stuffs. Okay. Then uh, it's a jerry, jerry Lynn strain. Okay, that's what I will say. Okay. So now, now we are going to rule a lot of things now here. So, uh, fever, conjunctivitis, running nose is basically on the tenth day. Then later, the rash has started in the back of the ear, spread to face. So it is definitely your measles. Okay, exanthema subitum. This is what this is caused by. Remember HSV, HSV six. I told six and seven, but at least six is more S for S. So this is caused by HSV six. Rash is not like that. There the rash is very reddish color. Reddish color, not like this dotted dotted macular papular rash. There the rash is something somewhat little bit different. Okay. Plus there is no any clue. This is actually sixth day disease. They call sixth day disease. The rash appears on the sixth day. Okay. So here it's not here. The rash the times are totally different. Rashes appear at which day here in uh, measles on the fourteenth day. So that is a out. Okay. You don't think too much. Your rash begin year means it's measles only. Erythema infectiosum, our favorite. It was caused by which one? You are who? Infectiosum is a clue here. So that is five, five, five. What is that? Fifth day disease. Fifth day. TK. Fifth day. TK. So five jungle. Who is it? Whenever you see, as I am going, always go from question to answer. That will be more easier. Let's change the pen now. So you guys know who better. Five means five fingers. Say slapped. Who is it? Is it? Slapped child, slapped child. Who, who slaps the child because of frustration? Our choti paru parvo. Okay, parvo parvo virus. Okay, so parvo virus, choti paru, smallest virus. And uske always is single, 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 single. 
because single flat or single, she's always single. That's what she's frustrated. She always slaps the children with her five only slapped. Uska naam erthima infectiosum or slapped chika pyaran. Parovirus. Okay, very simple. And of course, what happens? She her children get non-infectious erthoplastosis, fetalis or aplastic anemia, poor hair. Okay, because of parvo, all because of parvo. The smallest virus. The biggest one is pox. Uska kya hai? Brick shape hai. Pox, Peter ka brick hai. Brick, brick. He lives in brick. Parvo sabse choti hai, single hai. Small girl. Parvo means sab choti hai. Single, but you can't get a so slap cheese up in all these things. Stories, okay, very simple. Chicken box, just now we talked, there's no link, it's a centripetal rash, pleomorphic, totally different type. So, measles was your answer. Am I making sure? So, virology is super duper easy, okay. So, these are the things. Hopefully, I pray God all these questions only comes for you. Otherwise, also, I'm sure it will be very helpful and you guys will do great. Once again, you are um, you guys are amazing, you will do very good, I'm sure, okay. Next. Yeah, so this is the, that one, Vartin thin kidney cell, which I told, okay, this is a Vartin thin kidney cell. It's a multinuclear giant cell only, like thanks Mir for herpes. So this is for your, if the uh, question is more uh, Mises related, then the answer is Vartin thin kidney, multinuclear giant cells. Vartin thin kidney. Thin kidney. Vartin thin kidney. Again, it's a multinuclear giant cell. That's it. Okay, got it? Yeah. Yeah, so we have done uh, with the uh, immunology and parasitology top 50 questions. So next class, we are going to talk about, um, we'll finish parasitology and mycology. Again, very simple and easy. You guys will enjoy it. And that would be your final revision. You don't have to revise again. If you revise with me, just that's enough. If you have time, you revise again once again. Otherwise, one time revision with me be sufficient. And God will really bless you guys and you guys will do great. Okay, all the best once again.